Okay, lesson 8-3. Um, we're going to be talking about rounding and place value. Okay, when we're looking at rounding, they can tell us to round it to the nearest hundreds, in which case our answer is going to be something that ends in 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, or 1,000. Those are really our only choices. If we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it's going to be 500, or it's going to be, it could be 1,500, but it's going to end, our mouth should stop when we say the word hundred. The only catch to that is this really is 10 hundred, you know, it's 10 hundreds, but we, but we call it 1,000. So that's the only catch is if it's, if it's in the high 900s and it rounds to the next hundred, which is really instead of 900, it's 10 hundred, but we call that 1,000. So that's the only catch to that. If they say to round to the nearest tens, then our answer should end in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or again, the same thing, 10 tens. If, if you have something that's in the high 90s and you need to round to the next 10 instead of 90, instead of nine tens, you're going to have 10 tens, but we call 10 tens 100. Okay, but this can be, this can count also if we're rounding, you know, 563, but they want it rounded to the nearest 10. Our answer is going to be 500 and one of these tens. It's either going to be 560 or 570, but we're, because we're rounding to the nearest 10, the last words out of our mouth are going to be one of these two, because we're looking at, we have 500, but that's going to stay the same. So it's really, we're talking about rounding 63 to the nearest 10. So when we're looking at rounding to the nearest 100 or the nearest 10, the roller coaster is a great way to visualize it, okay? If the number next to it is zero, one, two, three, or four, it's going to slide back down here and stay at that lower 10, if the number or the lower 100. If the number is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're already at the peak and you're just gonna ride the roller coaster down to the next 100, okay? And let me give you some examples. So let's say we wanted to round 358 to the nearest 100, okay? You know ones, tens, hundreds. So if they're saying hundreds, we are going to underline the number that's in our hundreds place value. That's step number one. Then, so you find your place value that they're telling you to round to, then you look right next door. So find your place value, look right next door. This number next door is the boss applesauce. This number is in charge. This one is going to determine whether this stay at 300 or it gets bumped up to the next 400. So our number in charge, most important number in this rounding factor here is five. And where is five? It's up here. It's going to ride the roller coaster down. So instead of basically this is 300 and this is 400. So 310, 320, 330, 340. As soon as we get to 350, woo, we're going up to 400, okay? So four or less, we let it rest. Five or more, we add one more. So 358, we wanna to round to the nearest 100. We find our place value, look right next door. Five tells us add one more, so it's gonna get bumped up to 400. When we're looking at rounding to the nearest hundred, we have to think of these charts, okay? We have to think of all of our hundreds. And our number was 358. So what two hundreds is 358 between? Where would you put this on this number line here, This, if it was a number line? It should be right about here. It should be in between. If you have 300, and 400, 358 should be right in the middle. So the question is, is it closer to 400 or is it closer to 300? If it's at 350 or more, it's gonna be closer to 400. 
because that's just where it's like it's like when you're it's your birthday. Once you're six and a half, you are officially closer to seven than you were. You've passed that middle mark. 350 is the middle mark. So once we get past that middle mark, we are closer to 400. And this is 358. We don't care about the eight because this tells us that we're at 350 something. And we don't care how many something. It's just that it's 50 something. If it was 340 something, remember, 340 something, we'd be closer to 300. Okay, so let's do our sheet here. Okay, so place value is the value of the place of a digit has in a number. So we're gonna use 753. Write the digit in each place value. So the seven is in the hundreds place, and we know that's 700, right? This is like our expanded form. 700 plus 50 plus three, which you guys totally have down. So 700, seven is in the hundred and it has a value of 700. What number is in the tens? the five. Five is in the tens place and it has a value of 50. And three is in the ones place and it has a value of three. When you round a number, you find another number that is close to your number. So look at the digits to the right of the place you're rounding. That's what we're talking about. So when we're looking here, when we're finding our place value and we're finding the number to the right, right? So let's say we're going to do 549, okay? And they want us to round to um, the nearest 10 and the nearest 100. So two different problems, okay? So let's first just look at rounding to the nearest 10, okay? So 549, this is rounded to the nearest 10. So find your place value. If it's 10, this is ones, tens, hundreds. So the four is the number that's in the place value. Find your number, your place value, look right next door. The nine is the boss applesauce. And what is this nine going to tell us what to do? It's telling, going to tell us to round up to the, to the next one, okay? So if we're looking at 549, Rounding to the nearest 10, these are our options. It could be 510, what well, could be 500? 510, 520, 530, 540, 550, 560, 570, 580, 590, or this would be the next 100, which would be 600. So we're talking about 549. So we find our number, place value, look right next door. So 549 is going to be if we're, we know their five is going to stay the same, right? Our hundreds is gonna stay the same. So this is our tens and this is our ones. So if we're looking at 49, that's gonna be in between these two numbers, right? And it, ask yourself, is 49 closer to 50 or is it closer to 40? Okay, we should, we should know that. But let's look at our number. We're rounding to the nearest 10. Look right next door. This nine tells us if this is four or less, we're gonna let it rest at 540. If it is five or more, we're gonna add one more and go up to the next 10, which is 550, okay? So it's always helpful when you're looking at your number 549, ask yourself, what are my two options? If I'm rounding to the nearest 10, it can be 540 or it can be 550. Those are my two options. And then this nine is gonna tell me that I'm going to not let this rest at 540, but I'm gonna bump it up and, and bump it up to 50, okay? So, round 549 to the nearest 10 and 100. So, find your number, we're doing tens first, okay? We're gonna do the tens first. Okay, and then we'll do, we'll do hundreds down here. Okay, so, Find your number, look right next door. Nine is in the ones place, so we're gonna round up. So the tens digit is gonna not stay a four anymore, it's gonna round up to a five. So 549 rounded to the nearest 10 is 550, okay? Now if we wanna round 549 to the nearest 100, again, I like to look at it and go, what are my choices? If I'm rounding 549 to the nearest 100, Okay, 549 rounded to the nearest 100. What are my two choices? 
It's in between these two numbers. So it can either be 500 or 600, okay? So we find our number, we look right next door. The four is the boss applesauce. What does this four tell us to do? Where's my roller coaster? Okay, 549. This four tells us stay at 500, okay? Four or less, let it rest. If this was a five or more, we would bump it up to 600. So, four is in the tens place, therefore the hundreds digit stays the same. So 549 rounded to the nearest hundred is 500. Okay, you can use the number line, what you know about place value to help you round the numbers. So you have to figure out rounded to the nearest 10. We want 487 rounded to the nearest tens. Ones, tens, hundreds. So underline your tens and look right next door. Seven is the boss applesauce. What are my two choices? 487 rounded to the nearest 10 is going to be 400 and something or 400 and something. If we're looking at 487, 87 is going to be right in between 80 and 90. So my choices are 480 or 490. So if this is four or less, this is going to rest and it's going to stay at 480. If this is five or more, we're going to add one more and it's going to go to 490. So the seven is the boss applesauce. It's five or more, so we're going to add one more. It's going to be 490. If you're looking at this on a number line, you got 480, 489, Here's 487. Which one is it closer to? 490. See where this five, this five is that middle line. So if it, if it's 481, 82, 83, or 84, it's going to be closer to 480. This five, everything else goes up from there. This all is closer to that. The five, the rule is five and up. It goes to the next one. So between which two multiples of 10 is 480 located? 480 and 490. And is 487 closer to 480 or 490? You write that there. Should be 490. So therefore, 487 rounds to 490. Okay, so I want you to look at 487 to the nearest 100. Before you do anything, I want you to write down your two choices right here, rounded to the nearest 100. Think to yourself, what two hundreds is 487 located between? 487. What two hundreds? And write them down right here. You should get 400 and 500. Those are your two choices. 400 or 500, okay? We're rounding it to the nearest hundred, so Find your hundreds place, look right next door. Eight is the boss applesauce. If it's four or less, I mean this would be 410, 420, 430, or 440. If it's over here, and it's a, the number right next door to the hundreds is a one, two, three, or four, it's gonna be closer to 400. If it's 450 or more, it's gonna be closer to 500. Well, 487 is way over here, the eight, is five or more, add one more. So it's gotta go up to 500. So between two multiples of 100 is 487, that should be 400 and 500. 487 is closer to 500, so it rounds to 500. Okay, I want you to round 445 to the nearest 10 and then to the nearest 100. So it's two separate problems. So do it on the back, and I want you to round 445. Okay, first do it to the nearest 10. So 445, and I want to know the two options. What are your two options? Which two tens is 445 between? So pause it and write that down. You should get 440 and 450. Those are your two options, okay? So you're rounding to the nearest 10. Your 400 is staying the same. So underline your 10s, look right next door. So 
four or less, it's gonna rest at 440. Five or more, you're gonna add one more and go to 450. So my four is staying the same. This is five or more, so I'm gonna add one more, and that rounds to 450. For the nearest 100, okay, you have 445. So I wanna know which two hundreds is 445 between. So pause it and write down your two hundreds, your two choices. Okay, it's either 400 or 500. Again, your hundreds, so ones, tens, hundreds. Find your place value, look right next door. The four is the boss applesauce. Four or less, we're gonna let it rest at 400. If this is five or more, we're gonna add one more to 500. So it should round to 400. Okay, good job.